Hello, Collective. Welcome to Collectively Chosen. This is Kelly coming to you with your What You Need to Know reading. Thank you for your love and support. Thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes. They're greatly appreciated. I hope you all are having a wonderful day thus far. And with that, let's get into your reading. So let's see what you need to know right now. Collective. All right. I used to be a player, but you somehow changed that. Okay. So this person used to be a playboy, playgirl, but you changed them. Okay, we have, it's like my heart wants to go its own way, no matter what I try. So this person is trying to get over you, but for some reason, their heart keeps coming back to you or something keeps leading them back to you. All right, we have, I am protecting you from myself. So this person feels as though they're, they're not fully healed okay and they don't want to come to you that way all right you were right but i have trouble to admit i have trouble to admit the truth my feelings don't make sense to me and at the bottom self-doubt is holding me back from communicating to you <coughs> excuse me so this person don't feel like they are in the best version of themselves right now to come towards you or for you all to have something with one another all right, let's see. So somebody said they used to be a player. Somehow or another, you changed their ways, collective. This person, uh, you used to only think about themselves, self-indulgence. They used to only think about themselves, okay? Um, this person is trying to do some sort of shadow work here, okay? We have here girl with a snake, empath, narcissist, dynamic, I feel like somebody here had to learn to not uh, enable situations. This could be you. This could be them. You take it how it resonates for you. All right. I'm protecting you from myself. Oh, that's a lot. Simplify the message, please. Goodness. Everything just want to hit the floor. Okay, so this could have been a karmic situation, karmic relationship. Okay, we have here, let's see. What is going on? Somebody has a lot to say, but they're not saying it. Here we have the hammer here. So somebody here is definitely, uh, they could have sabotaged the connection here. Um, there could have been some sort of repetitive um thing between you all yeah there was some sort of competitive thing between you two okay but this person said you were right all right they have a trouble um admitting the truth that they needed to change um possibly you could have told them that a, another a old version of them needs to go all right somebody could be realizing as well yeah, look at that. Oh, okay. what the hell? Okay, yeah. Healing heart and healthy choices. So, somebody here, they knew that the reason why you and them didn't move forward was because of... Okay, so somebody feels like something here is not over. That the relationship or connection is not over. All right. Somebody definitely felt stabbed in the back in the situation here. Some sort of deception, pain. Somebody is realizing they sabotaged you all's connection. Okay. So. Either you ghosted someone or they ghosted you. We have wedding rings, camera, Cupid's arrow. Hmm. What does the collector need to know about this? Used to be player. Okay, so somebody here. I feel like you became clear on this person. All right. At one point in time, they could have had you fooled. 
Okay, yeah, see, somebody is feeling very guilty um, about some sort of conflict between you two. Okay, so this could be something that it says present. So this could be the past or something that could be getting ready to possibly happen in the future here. Let me take it how it resonates. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, action. So... I feel like somebody here now wants to take some sort of an action here. All right. Someone don't want something here to end. But this person is saying that they feel like they're protecting you from them. Because I feel like this person could be suffering from some sort of addictions or some sort of karma here. All right. So spirit guys, somebody spirit guys is leading them to say something to you or to come towards you whoever this is they are feeling very hot and attracted towards you okay i feel like they're trying to suppress some sort of feelings that they have um i do feel like whoever this is they may feel as though you know before they come off at you in any type of way they need to apologize to you about something here it could have been the way that this person treated you all right is what i'm seeing here what is stabbed in the back? Yeah, self-worth. All right, you raised your expectations. You let go of toxicity, toxic connections, okay? Um, this person, I feel like they're working on their self-worth, all right? This person, I feel like um, they want to make you some sort of an offer, but they know they have to come to you a changed person, They have to drop the facade, okay? They have to let that die. If they want to be open or they want to be, they want to receive you or receive any connection, this person is going to have to be open to dropping the mask, okay? Letting go of whatever facade they were putting on. And they're going to have to allow themselves to be vulnerable here is what I'm getting. They're going to have to allow themselves to be vulnerable. They're going to have to speak their truth. Ace of Cups. That they feel some sort of love here for you. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here. Okay. Somebody definitely wants, somebody definitely is learning to love on themselves again. Um, learning that, you know, wish fulfillment not comes from only loving someone else, but loving yourself the exact same way that <clears throat> excuse me that you would love on someone else i feel like somebody here in the past they could have had like a lack mentality they could have been suffering um somebody here could have been suffering from mental health as well um somebody could have suffered emotionally and i feel like this could have been why this person you know could have been in this energy of just like not feeling that they were good enough um somebody here could have could be now looking at themselves Okay, versus them projecting. They could be looking at themselves or they need to take a look at themselves. Yeah, cycle completed. All right, so somebody here has spirit guides that's helping them close out a cycle. Okay, um, I do feel like somebody does not want something to end here is what I'm getting. Yeah, this person is longing for you. You and this person could be in separation at this time. But somebody here is definitely wanting to come back towards you here is what I'm seeing. Yeah, they're wanting to. Okay, so somebody is now ready to express their truth. They're now ready to live in their purpose, their north node, all right? Ace of Swords, okay? Gemini, Libra, Aquarian energy, all right? Being clear on what it is that they want, all right? They want to have some sort of conversation about whatever the the drama was between you two okay i do feel like somebody is becoming more empowered okay so this person they're like their feelings don't make sense to them they're not understanding why they can't just get over you it's been easy for them to get over any and everybody else that they've dealt with okay but it's not as easy to get over you all right somebody here could have had control issues thank you as well Okay, so that could be something that somebody had to work on here. So come winter, you're going to feel some sort of energy um, renewal or rebirth here happening. Or this person could be going through this. 
Okay, yeah. Didn't I say somebody here was closing out some sort of karma here? But there's going to be some sort of tower that's going to make someone have some sort of decision to make. Yeah, vanity and pride. Somebody had to let go of their ego. You know, somebody could have been very surface level is what I'm saying here. All right. There's some sort of contract here. Awakening freedom, yeah. So you may feel like somebody is being detached and cold, but I feel like what this more so is... This is a time for them to be alone. Um, somebody here is definitely keeping an eye on the other person. All right. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy that's watching, inspecting, um, trying to see what's going on here. This is the Ace of Swords. Yeah. Surrendering, releasing. Okay. Pent up emotions. Somebody here has a lot of emotions for you. And they've gained some sort of clarity about how they truly feel about you. I feel like this is the type of person they have been fighting it for I don't know how long, okay? Yeah, because they've been operating out of their shadow side. Somebody didn't want to see something for what it was, all right? This could be someone who they could have partied a lot, you know, hung out with people a lot, hung out with friends or this was codependent on, you know, being around other people. And I feel like this is something that somebody had to let go of. Yeah, they had to find some sort of change. But what this is, though, is, you know, when you go in hermit mode, and a spiritual journey is a lonely journey, okay? It is. Um, that's a time where you are to be put by yourself, okay? Um and so it's not it's not an easy path, okay? Yeah, closed off confirmation. See, it's just to say it's not it's not an easy path, okay? So I feel like closed off is in the reverse. Someone here is no longer guarded; they're open to receive, okay? When it comes to love, here is what I'm saying. All right, so somebody could be becoming more committed, not only to you know. They could be focusing more on home, family, things like that, okay? Uh, we have autumn harvest, okay? So there could be some sort of, uh, some of you may find out there's a child coming, okay? You may get some sort of message about a child. Some of you, there's just a message if someone wants to make you some sort of an offer. Now, some of you, somebody could have already made you an offer, but you have yet to respond or let this person know what it is you know, that you want to do with the connection moving forward, confirmation, all right, and then we have here, epiphany, breakthrough, so something is going to happen in divine timing, I do feel like somebody here may feel as though they may have lost an opportunity, okay, with you or you them, all right, there's some clarity that's going to come in, but I feel like it's going to be have to be within the right timing. So this could be something that could happen around spring, all right? And you have twin flame here, feminine communication, separation, renewal, all right? So somebody had, yeah, like, this separation was inevitable. This is a separation that had to happen. Yeah, in order for you all to come together, I do feel like somebody here needed to balance themselves within themselves, the masculine here, okay? The masculine needed to find some sort of a balance, all right? This could have been a type of person here who um, they could use, they could have used underhanded tactics to kind of like silence you in a situation. I'm getting that as well, all right? Um, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody wants a new stable opportunity, but I feel like somebody's still doing some sort of work, yeah, um, focusing on their energy, this masculine right now, 
is focusing on their energy so they can be open to receive so this distance that you all is are going through this is about you all's individual self-love journey okay is what i'm seeing so you all can integrate into union so this is something that had to happen I feel like the, the feminine needed to work on things for themselves and the masculine needed to work on certain things for themselves. Confirmation. So just because y'all aren't in each other's presence right now don't mean that this is not going to revisit at a time when you all have both rose your vibration and y'all are both operating out of your north node. Get another quick little message for you. Get a couple of little messages. See what else they want you to know, collective. What else does the collective need to know? What else does the collective need to know? Can we just start over clean slate so I can do things right this time? I'm trying to get to you, but a third party keeps getting in the way. So somebody is closing out some sort of karmic cycle here. All right, I still can't figure out what went wrong. I've tried to forget you and move on, but something keeps pulling me back more than anything. I just want you to be happy. And this person thinks about you physically more than they... Uh, care to admit so this person if they try to act like they're not attracted to you that's a lie <laughs> they're just keeping it to themselves do you think about the past as often as I do I've tried dating again but it hasn't had the same spark so this person has tried other things other people and this person is terrified of rejection. So this person is terrified that you're going to reject them if they were to come towards you. Okay, so I feel like they're trying to gain some sort of courage before they come towards you. It's not easy to be a... <clears throat> <clears throat> this person have a hard time expressing themselves to you, uh, Collective. Yeah, back again. I used to be a player, but you somehow changed that. All right, I'm comfortable where I am. I don't want to change. Oh, wow. Okay. I cannot just be a friend to you. So this is someone, they can't be friends. I'm hearing Trey songs. Um, they can't just be friends with you. Your way of life is so different from what I know. So something about the way that you live your life, okay, um, it's not something they're used to, okay? Uh, they may be used to toxicity, you know, in relationships. They're used to having, uh, drag out arguments and fights and all that old stuff. And you're just not with that. Like, you're totally different from what they're used to. Please stay away from me. I don't want to hurt you further. I feel attracted to you. It's not easy for me to explain how I feel. And I tell you, whoever this is, they have a hard time explaining how they feel. I thought we were fine, but I guess we were wrong. So this person thought that you accepted them for the way that they were, the way that things were between you two. And when they realized that you were possibly seeking um, something a bit more stable and concrete, I feel like that could have really made this person feel some type of way. Um, it made them feel insecure because they felt as though that's the expectation that you're expecting that they're not going to be able to live up to. And the last thing they're trying to do is have you thought in their face of what a disappointment they are to you. Okay, so that's what I'm getting with that right there. This person is soul searching. 
trying to find their purpose, working on some, some sort of personal issues first that they need to work out. So again, like I said, uh, the, the spiritual journey is a lonely journey. And I feel like somebody is realizing that um, this is not an easy, it's not an easy journey, baby, at all. See, power balance. Somebody, okay, having mutual respect and shared responsibility. So, I do feel like, too, uh, somebody here wants someone to understand that, you know, just because at times y'all may not talk to each other, see each other, or, you know, maybe y'all have, you know, separate families. They have children with someone else. You have children with someone else. And what they don't want it to want you to think is just because sometimes they have to prioritize those things that, it's, it's some sort of slight to you or vice versa. Take it how it resonates for you. All right. There's someone else or a fantasy unfulfilled. So, yeah, see, somebody has some sort of hidden desires. Okay. Now, with this person saying that there's a third party and they're trying to get back to you, that's why I said it, it's, it's a, yeah, love stories. Truth talk. So, somebody enchanted whisper. Somebody wants uh, is hoping that you would take some sort of chance on love with them. I just I feel like the, the issue is going to be the third party situation. If they've taken care of that, give us something on this third party, please and thank you. Give us something on this third party, please and thank you. Third party, please and thank you. It up in a second. Third party. Three of Wands reverse. So you if you found out about a third party, you could have changed your mind about going towards this person. Yeah, you had an aha moment. Um, some of you, if you this person came back to you and made you think that at one point, like they changed and you know, it's just about you and them and it's not going to be any interference this time. I feel like for some of you, you could have realized that this person had not changed at all. Okay. Um, you could have at one point in time went against your better judgment, went against or something could have come out about the third party, right? You could have found out about a third party, but I feel like this is too, you going against your better judgment. You going against your intuition. You wanted to see this person as someone who's actually done the work and has changed it with the two of swords. Okay. You could have been, you know, wearing rose colored glasses, walking around with the blindfold on, acting like you didn't see certain signs. Okay. But there could have been definitely red flags. All right. But we see here with the nine of pentacles. All right. Um, This person could have made it seem like that, you know, they were single. I feel like, too, some of you, you could have been dealing with someone who they felt just like as long as they were helping you out monetarily and things like that. Like, what's the big issue? What are you, you know, what you worried about it for? You know, as far as when this person come and when they go. Like, you could have been dealing with that type of personality. Okay, but I do feel like for a lot of you, you set some sort of boundary with this person. Um, I do feel like this person feels as though that they know that you are a catch here. All right, six of cups in the reverse. Yeah, somebody had a very uh, tumultuous past. Um, not a lot of good memories. People constantly possibly putting them in third parties. Okay, them feeling like they had, like they possess. Oh, ooh, I just heard possessed. Okay, could have dealt with people who were very possessive, um, wanted to hold on to them, but at the same time, they wanted to do them, okay? Um, I do feel like somebody feels like overall, like you're, you're self-sufficient, you're a go-getter, you take care of yourself, um, you are very nurturing, okay? You're someone that's easy to talk to with the queen of cups being here you're someone that's easy to talk to you don't have any problem in expressing how you feel emotionally okay but i feel like that's something that you may have felt as though you didn't get back in return yeah all right and we have here the hierophant six of swords and the eight of cups so i feel like somebody took um Mm, 
somebody here took a break. Like, you, like, spirit was giving you some sort of signs that it was just time for you to move on from this situation. Um, and I feel like you did it, you know. I feel like it, it was it, it was hurtful, okay, because I do feel like this is somebody that you and them, there was a, so there was some sort of connection, um, and there could have definitely been some sort of a soul tie with this. But what alarms me with the situation is this person saying, you know, um, where is it? Yeah, um, I used to be a player, but somehow you changed me. But then they say, I'm comfortable where I am. I don't want to change. So it's like, which one is it? <laughs> You've changed or you haven't changed. So it's still to me like this person is not 100% in the mind space or mind frame of being in the type of relationship that you want. Okay, they will say what they have to say to get what they want. And I don't think that it's like they don't care anything about you. This person definitely has a lot of deep feelings for you. But I feel like the issue is, um, you know, until they change this third party situation, until they really, you know, do the work. Okay, you being this empress energy, you cannot allow yourself to attach yourself to a knight of wands or a knight of cups in the reverse because those are some of the um you know some of the cards that were coming out you know what i mean you can't you can't allow yourself to be treated you know connected to that type of energy yeah seven of cups Three of Cups, Five of Swords. So, yeah, somebody here could have been, you know, they could be still with their child's mother. With with the Empress being here, could be a wife. You take it how it resonates. All right, this person is trying to figure out how can they come in and play on your emotions. I do feel that, too. Um, who is this third party? Ace of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. So, if this person is making some sort of plan to tell you the truth. But, it's, ugh. yeah, still set your boundaries. Queen of Swords and a Magician. Still set your boundary. What is the Eight of Wands? That's too many. What's the Eight of Wands? Seven of Wands. You could have said something to this person where you had to stand up for yourself or defend yourself, Queen of Swords. Yeah, honey. You had to you, you had to call a spade a spade. I feel like whoever this is, you called a spade a spade. Yeah. Now for some of you, I hope you ain't sitting around waiting on no comic, honey. Trying to take no risk with no karma. Six of Wands. Judgment. So, for a lot of you, you could have went on and made some sort of decision, yeah. King of Wands, Five of Pentacles. Two of Cups. Somebody could be trying to block someone that's crushing on you as well. I am seeing that. So third party don't necessarily have to be like a... a like a spouse. This could be a friend. Okay, because I did see the three of cups. It could definitely be a friend. So it could be a friend that's getting in the way of you all. Ten of cups. Could be family as well. 
Queen of Wands, Page of Wands. Six of Cups Reverse. Ten of Swords. <clears throat> there could have been a queen of wands here that wanted to bring some sort of death to a situation as well aries leo sag somebody wanted to bring an end to a situation for you whoever this is they didn't like to see people giving and receiving with you you had a hater with you yeah <clears throat> you had a hater Five of Pentacles. And the Knight of Cups. So yeah, somebody wants somebody that feels left out in the cold here. They want some sort of new contract with you. They want some sort of new contract here with you. Ace of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. So somebody is strategizing on how to come to you to have some sort of conversation to see what path that you all are going to take or what path they're going to take okay with the world and the chariot all right if something is really completely closed out you're moving forward or this is you needing to make some sort of decision two of wands where we at 32 years we gotta get off here okay two of wands is a so, like, what is it that you want? What is your desire? Four swords. Five of swords. Yeah, somebody doing a lot of thinking. To the point they're just really much so in their head. Like, I don't feel like any movement. King of Swords, the world. Somebody could be of a different background. Somebody could be reaching out, but I feel like if you're dealing with an Aquarian energy, the world, yeah. You're going to have to stand your ground, or somebody here is standing their ground against some sort of friend group or something here. Yeah, somebody's going to tell you they're sorry. Somebody wants to tell you that they're sorry for something that happened here. So I don't know if they're trying to erase some sort of karma that they've gotten attached to throughout this situation. But somebody definitely wants to apologize to you here. I mean, you know the energy of your person a lot better than I do, so just use your discernment. Okay, what I get from it. Right, what do you want to leave? Collective with. Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Give it time. Everything in divine time and let things flow. We have moving on. Someone is unavailable. A waste of time. It's over. 
So this person is still dealing with a third party or letting people come in between. Or they just haven't done the growth that they need to. It's time to let it go. It's a no. Now is not the right time. Intimacy. And then we have challenges. Open up your heart, okay? Something else is coming in. There's an earth sign that could be a gold digger, okay? We have guardian, all right? Somebody, uh, you have a, a fire sign guardian that watches over you. That's helping you in this time or trying to in this time. Golden cage. Break free from stress and toxic relationships. And allow this new path to come in for you, collective. That's what I'm seeing right here. All right. Uh, let's see. Close out collective with some messages they need to know. Don't believe everything you hear. Do the research. Trust and follow your instincts. What did I tell you? Follow your own discernment. Don't let others drain your energy with negative conversations. Stay focused. Do not give in to the drama surrounding you. Make your personal space and time a priority. And let your charm and magnetic personality shine through. You may want to soften your energy just a tad bit. Speak and act with love and compassion. So that's what I have for you, Collective. I hope these messages helped you in some way, shape, or form. Gave you some sort of clarity and guidance, okay, on your situation. If not, check out any of the other videos. You may find something there. Excuse me. All of my videos are timeless. Please hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And again, I appreciate all your love and support. And I will see you all in your next reading. Peace.